Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Bablu and today I'm just showing you how my two and a half month old peacocks are coming along. I'm sat here by him on his chair, just feeding him some mealworms to get him more and more tame close uh, tame so they can come close to me and not be scared. So in time when they're older we can let them out into the garden. And they should be coming home back here. So the first thing we need to do is to get them really, really tame to tame. Get them to eat off our hand. See, they're not very far away from me. If I had food, they do come a bit more closer. That there you can see squawking is scarlet. She's out there on that tree there. She's my macaw, which we release her in the garden. She hangs around in the garden. This tree had all plums and she's gone through all the plums now. Probably looking for the last few that she can find. How beautiful she is, all the tree colors. Underneath for here, we have all my koi's, goldfish. We have a glass by here, so you can see through the glass. Then by here, we have the chickens. Some of the pigeons get inside here through the top. They can come back out, but the chickens can't. Then here we have the doves. Along with some fantails here. <whistles> come on, Scarlet. See if I can get it to fly to my hand. She's been out about 20 minutes. So I think she'd rather be chewing up all the branches and see if I call her. Come on! She's getting to the tip of the tree. So when she flies, her wings don't get caught in the branch. She's going to the tip of the branch where she's heavy. Go to the skinny branches. They're all wobbling. She's able to get a good foot in. Scarlet, come on! There she comes. Say hello to everyone. Hello. Hello, pretty bird. What you doing? You've been eating the plums. You've been eating the plums. She's just super playful. Got my shoulder. Let me get around to her. Don't go chewing up the cables. She got super strong because she'll chew through them. And I got some other pheasants in them in those those ones there. Eh? So, this is the tree house, and at the bottom we got the peacocks. Let them 
some grass, they love it. See them eating the grass, they really absolutely love it. Scarlett, come on. She just loves chewing things up. So, we leaves it on the garden. She got all the trees and the branch I think she wants to chew up. If you look on the top there, we got the sparrowhawk circling. Scallop is too big for the sparrow hawk, but the sparrow hawk will go for the pigeons and the doves. It's the buzzards you got to be careful of, they're massive. Scarlet, come on! My favourite thing is to chew up anything. Oh, she's walking in. Come here. Come here. Come in. And all these animals I got here, they all interact with each other. They all get along together. If there's a threat or anything of any birds, one make the alarm or chicken alarm. The peacocks or the hawk. Even we have a seagull up here, make the alarm and they all interact together, they all scatters. This is one of our favorite trees up there. So there's got no branches of a dead tree. Should probably go there now and start chewing up all those extra branches. That's my skimmer. Sorry, that's my filter I got. It's a Nexus, it's a brilliant job of keeping the big pond nice and clean. I used to have the water used to go from there, land into here with all plants. They would clean it all up, and then it used to get sent into there. Some huge fish up here in here. Some four foot long. So yeah, it's about three and a half foot long. My waterfall, which I've been. Got this lovely waterfall coming down. So when you're sat by here at the table, you can hear the lovely sound of the waterfall on the bay. I'm gonna go and get Chico, my squirrel monkey. I'm going to leave him in there for a bit so you can get some sun 